How's it going everyone? I'm Zed Files and today we're going to be comparing the Volonosaur with the four different turrets from Ark Survival Evolved in a four video long series. These videos will be uploaded every Friday so make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss the last video on the series that's coming out next week. If you want to see the other two videos I'll link the playlist in the top right corner so you can watch those. Today we'll be comparing the Volonosaur with the plant turret. I'll be comparing the damage per projectile, damage speed, attack range, health, resistance, tiger options, cost, ammo and power requirements. So first we'll be comparing their damage per projectile. So for the Volonosaur, when you're mounting them, they all do different damage depending on how much you leveled up their melee. But when they're in turret mode, they only do 20 damage each projectile. The plant turret does 32 damage per projectile, which is actually more than the Volonosaur when the Volonosaur is in turret mode. Next for the damage speed, the Volonosaur shoots 10 quills per second, so that means he does 200 DPS, 200 damage per second. The plant turret shoots about 1.7 rounds per second, so it does about 54.4 DPS. Also with the plant turret, it applies an effect to whatever it's shooting, that's like the Dallas bit, which makes the creature slow and all of its screen is like green, so it's harder for them to move and see everything. Next we have attack range. So for the Volonosaur, when you're riding on them, they can shoot from 23 foundations away. When they're in turret mode, they can only shoot from 17 foundations away. Next for the plant turret, in this arc version, which is 291.1, I found that the plant turret has more options, more range options than the Volonosaur, but it's actually, its range is actually like even with the Volonosaur, but that's when the Volonosaur is in turret mode. So if you're riding the Volonosaur, then it's actually better. So I'll just go to like medium. As you can see, it can't reach anymore. But the Volonosaur, when he has normal turret range on, you can still hit the Parasaur. Next you have health and resistance. So for level one tamed Volonosaur, they have 440 health, which is pretty good for a creature. And a really good level one, so like this one, this is like a super good Volonosaur. It can have around 11,000 health. So the Volonosaurs, they're pretty good at tanking stuff. And the plant species, X, only has 1,500 health. But it can regenerate 3 HP every second. And the crop plot it's in, only can have 5,000 health. And that can't even regenerate. You have to heal that manually. Repair it manually. And you can defend the turret better than you can defend these guys. By putting like stone railings around them and everything. So you can defend these better than the Volonosaurs, but the Volonosaurs you can also imprint them, have them mate boosted, and you can also have them have good saddles, so that way you can have like 100 armor on them. So I'd say the plant turret can have a lot more defense than the Volonosaur, the low level Volonosaurs. But if you get a high level Volonosaur, then they're both pretty similar. Next we have target options, so the Volonosaurs don't really have any working ones, but the plant turret has six options. So it has all targets, which is all the other five all together. And there's only survivors or tame creatures, only survivors and the wild creatures, only survivors and mounted creatures, and only tamed creatures. Next we have cost. So this is how hard it was to tame the Volonosaur and how hard it is to get a plant turret. So first for the Volonosaur, they're pretty easy to tame. All you really need is a creature that can tank all of its quills while you try and knock it out and then you just have to feed it meat. And their saddle, their saddle is learnt at level 27 so you can get them really early game. Next for the plant turret, it's a lot harder to get than the Volonosaur because first you need to get the seed which is pretty hard to get because you have to go to the swamp to find one. And then like special looking bushes and flowers. And the swamp's pretty dangerous, so it'll be hard to get them. And once you do get the seed, it needs a crop plot to be planted in. And then it'll need fertilizer and water. Right here I just have a metal water tap. So we'll need all of those things. And then it'll take quite a long time to actually grow, so you can use it. Next we have ammo and power requirements. So the Volonosaurs, they only really need stamina and meat, because they need to eat food. And yeah, stamina you should pump really high so that they can shoot a lot before running out of stamina. 
For the plant turret it uses quite a lot of ammo and it needs a lot of power requirements. So it needs fertilizer. It uses a part of fertilizer each time it shoots. It also needs fertilizer to be powered. It also needs water, a water system. If it doesn't have water or fertilizer, then it can't shoot, it won't work anymore. And it might also go back to like the seedling thing. So you have to always make sure it has water and fertilizer. Overall, I'd say the Volanosaur is better because they shoot faster, they do more damage, and they are a lot easier to get than the plant turret. But the plant turret should still have a few of these around your base because of the dilo kind of effect that it does to creatures. So a mix of them would be probably be the best. But if you do a mix, then I'd say have more Volanosaurs than the plant turrets, because the plant turrets will slow down the creature, then the Volanosaurs can just destroy them because they do so much damage. So if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, subscribing and liking really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.